Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Little Cliff Mountain. This one was designed by Jaron Pauls. Fairways are normal, greens are soft, green speed is fast. We've got three tee options. We're playing off the black, which is playing 7,092 yards. Everything else is left to default and we are playing off pin set number one. Now, Jaron Pauls, aka Life on a Board, has designed this course in honour of his newborn baby Cliff. So let's all raise a glass to Cliff, and here's to the future, wee man. But I have been really working hard on my swing. Today, all day, I've played about six or seven rounds of golf. I have been in the driving range for about an hour, um, an hour and a half maybe. I feel recently I've kind of abandoned my, my efforts on maintaining and improving my swing and swing tempo. So let's hope that bears fruit in today's round. Like I said, I'm swinging really, really well coming into this round. But looking forward to this one. Life on a board. I think we have featured one of his courses on the channel previously. I can't recall which one. I think it was uh, called a Furiosa. But this one is taking a while to load in, guys. Sorry, I didn't edit or speed up. I normally try and speed up the loading section. But let's get right into this fictional course. Hole number one, par four, playing 490 yard stroke, index 18. So clearly the Swiss theme, but wow, what a fantastic opening hole this is. And I keep maintaining it. You know how well a course is going to look right from the first tee. And this one has certainly gained my attention. So we've got a 10 mile per hour wind. But just look at this bridge with the paths. That is fantastic. Great detail went into this. Showing you where to go. Absolute fantastic. So 10 mile per hour crosswind. Should be able to come over the top of this bunker convincingly. It has been a while since I've swung. Or should I, should I say played on soft greens. But as you can see that is a fantastic opening tee shot. Long may that continue. And I do apologise if you're picking up the beeping in the background. It's just saying... The dishwasher is finished. I'll have to get my two lads to go and empty that once the time's right. But 139 yards, 9 mile per hour wind, soft greens. Been a while since we have played in soft greens. In between clubs here, but I think we're going to deal off this gap wedge. Really sting this into the green. It should bounce out firmly for us if we execute this well. There we go. It's another fantastic swing line. Perfect, perfect. This should bounce out well, a few yards in, hopefully sit down. It does exactly that. It's actually going to trickle a little bit past the pin, which I didn't expect. But that should leave us with a seven-foot putt. It's going to swing slightly right. Green speeds are 169. And we do pick up an opening birdie, which is always great. So great start to Little Cliff in the Mountain. We are one under. Hole number two, par three, playing 100 and 48 yards stroke index 8 but I do believe there's like boxes of TNT and 360 diamond drill bits um, around about the course but fantastic looking par 3 here 143 7 I think this club's perfect you know that 7 mile per hour wind should just land a short of the pin there is a little bit of a backboard backstop there it will take the ball back if we are long, but I don't think we will be long. Let's just have a really close intention. But the detail out with the course, the, the views over that cliffs are absolutely outstanding. Really feeling this, guys. Really swinging well. That should kick out. Should check up. Oh, it didn't check up. I can only imagine that's on a little downhill slope there. But once again, we're dialed into the pin. Five foot. Good challenge on the greens, to be honest. Gonna have to aim this good bit left. Should turn. Does turn. And we do start off with back-to-back -back birdies and move to two under par. He does go on to say that he's lost 180 golf balls per round design in this course. And I think it's took him about 200 and 70 hours of lost sleep. So, wow, Jar and Paul's. Fantastic. And what an amazing course you have designed here for your young little baby. 
So, short par four here. Playing 316 yards. With that current wind, I don't think you're going to reach that. You would really need 18, 20 mile per hour wind behind you just to even consider taking that shot on. So, just applying a touch, a fade here. Should just find the second part of fairway with the two wood with that wind. Great strike. Like I say, re oh, that needs to get up. It does kick up. I really did not expect that to come up as short as that. Are we going to roll back off? No, it's, a, it's just uh, checked up there eventually. So that is going to leave us with a bit of a slope at our feet. So the ball is below our feet. 95 up 41 yards. We're going to have to deal off this sandwich here. That wind and the ball at our feet should. Oh, I don't know. Let me. I feel the wind's going to just slightly overpower the slope at our feet. Let's see if we can get this one dialed in. Wind is just dying down. I think it's more a like for like here with the slope and the wind. Oh, I put slow on it. We're in big trouble. That is something. That is one of the reasons I have been working hard on my swing today. And we've executed a slow. So I think we're going to have to fully loft this up and just really attack this. This should just about get out of this bunker with a lie. It does check. Oh. I thought that was really going to gain speed there. I maybe shouted check just a little bit too soon. Didn't have the line to, to go in. But we are going to pick up the first par of the round and we are going to remain at two under par. So, hole number four is a par four. Playing 446 yards stroke index 12. But I am blown away with this course. I Just the amount of superb masterpieces, that's what we're going to defer them to, that we have played on the channel recently. Are just mind blowing, guys. This course is phenomenal. What a tribute to Little Cliff. Ooh, that 10 mile per hour wind. I think we're just going to deal off this a touch. Try and keep this below the wind and get it up that elevated. Oh, I've pushed that one slightly right. Probably our first poor execution apart from the slope of the round. But that has really run out well for us. And that's going to leave us 164 yards down 21 feet. 10 mile per hour wind in our face. Oh, we're going to be really in between clubs here. But I think we just go 7 iron. And I loft that up a touch. I'm just trying to get it up to that like second part of the green and hopefully it runs out a bit. If I don't get to that area there, just short of where I'm aiming, I think it just sits down instantly. It's another laser beam. Ah, oh, that is dying to death too quick, I do believe. Yeah, we're not going to get up to that second part of the green. No. Didn't get there. Didn't get the run out. So we are going to have a slight uphill putt, I imagine, here. It's downhill, actually. So totally misread that. Totally misread that. 20 footer. Breaking to the right. Good putt line. Oh, it just burns the left edge. Probably just played that with a bit too much pace there. And we are hopefully going to convert this little six footer. But quite a nasty break in this one. Certainly no gimme. And we do manage to hold that centre cup. And pick up our second par off the Rhine and we are going to remain two under. So two back-to-back -back birdies followed up by two back-to-back -back pars. First par five of the Rhine is a monster. Par five playing 603 yards stroke index two. But just look at the breathtaking views here. Love the bunker work. Everything just look, looks so crisp and clean and so expertly done. This is just truly phenomenal. It really, really is. Any designers out there looking for inspiration on bunker work, look no further. So out of bounds all over this hole here. I think we can just 
just about hit the big dog here without running out of fairway to work with. Oh, I've pushed up one right. It's not affecting us too much though. It's just without the swing cone. But that ball is going to nestle down. We're certainly not reaching this in two here. So 200... And, ooh, look at this. What a well-placed and strategic uh, bottleneck fairway that is. Coupled with a bunker. I don't think we carry the bunker here, so just try to find the gap between the two of them. Fantastic. That should be bang on. And that should hopefully kick very nice. Oh, what a horrible kick. And that's actually kicked us into the light rough. I feel that's a bit unfair, to be honest, because it took a really fantastic shot to get to where we were, and we were punished with a kick due to the, the contours of the fairway. But just going to use the backdrop, this back slope here. Flop this long. Oh, what a horrible swing. What a horrible swing line that is. It should come back, though. There we go. It ball reluctantly comes back, almost pinned high, and it should leave us about a five to six foot putt for birdie. Four footer. And hopefully we convert, which we do just on the edge. Just on the edge. I did pull my putt line slightly to the left there. That may well have helped us because I didn't read that as good as we could have. But we do pick up the birdie and we move on to hole number six. It's a beautiful downhill par three. 164 yards stroke index six. Lots of trouble here. Bunkers short and left. Ooh, 35 feet, 163, seven mile per hour crosswind. Don't want to be right or short. Or the ball's going to trickle down that steep slope in the green. A iron definitely gets me there. I'm just looking at the way the green breaks. I fully expect this to land just left of the pin. Just lofting up a touch. This should just land a little bit left or right at the pin, actually. Certainly don't want to go right here. It's another laser beam. How on earth is that ball travelling so far right? That could actually kick off the green. I really did not expect that ball to be manipulated as much as that by the wind. It wasn't a full crosswind. Slightly in my face. But we've got a makeable putt here from 12 foot. Now, I tell you what, look at that putt line. I've been punished with that putt line in the past on very similar putts. This time it didn't really affect it. So either a bit of randomness there or I'm not reading greens as well as I think I am. But nonetheless, we do pick up the birdie and we move on to hole number seven. Par four, playing 472 yard stroke, index 14. But wow, where on earth has the creative juices came from this, for this course? I wonder if Arctic Fury's house on the cliff... Um, I wonder if he's used any of the templates from that to inspire some of these holes or if he's just started with a blank canvas. So just applying a touch of fade here. Try to find the right hand side of this left that's a part of the fairway. Swinging really well. That fade's not kicking in. I don't think I've applied enough fade. That's going to be bunker bound. Oh, fortunately, we shouldn't be plugged. It should run in fairly gently. But can't believe I didn't apply enough fade there. 149 yards. Down 18 feet. 79 to 87. We're going to have to go 9 iron. Now, I think if we can just get this landing on the green, it should just about have enough run out to get up towards the pin. Bit of a wonky swing line there. Are we getting away with this? Wind's taking us around nicely. This should kick on well with the firm uh, fairways. Has it got the legs? No, but I'll take that. We're probably looking about a 15 foot uphill putt for birdie. 13 feet. It's worked out really well. Not too much of a, a break in this one. Certainly going to turn left, but we'll play this firm up the slope. And we are rewarded with a birdie there. What a recovery. Great scrambling. And we do move to five under par. Really solid first few, should I say, first seven holes here. It's another par five. Hole number eight, playing 575 yards stroke index 10. But 
Guys, look at this work. This is fantastic. Look at the detail in these rock formations with the water, the bridges, the paths. He's left nothing out here. He must have been close to his full plant meter here. This is phenomenal. It plays so smooth as well. I don't think we're going to find the second part of the fairway with these winds. Now, this is going to be a long par 5 with this wind in my face. That was impressive. It's another fantastic drive. It's about time I've swung like this, because I know I am capable of it. I'll still get people accusing me of cheating. I always do. I have put a lot of swing, a lot of effort into my swing today. Like I say, this is about my 8th or ninth round. I would be concerned if I wasn't playing well by not. Fully warmed up. I think we've just got to go bunker here. I'm in between clubs here. That's going to struggle to reach. Two wood. Probably going to be long and in bunker or rough. So we're going to have to bite the bullet here. I'm going to try and leave a flop shot out the bunker. Great strike once again. We are getting a lot of perfect fast, but a lot of you... Oh, I tell you what, I really didn't expect that to be as close as that. Just by the skin of her teeth we kicked up there. It's going to leave us a flop shot. 71 to 78. I think I just deal off this a touch. Oh, it's a fast, fast. That ball's... N oh, I tell you what, though. Nah, it's not going to check up. That could trickle off that green... We're fortunate we caught the fringe there. That would have killed a bit of the momentum. That is going to leave us a tricky putt for birdie. 12 feet. Breaking quite severe from left to right. Slightly uphill. If that ball moved another foot, we were trickling. That's not... It's nowhere near the cut from that range. Should have been closer. Didn't respect the break well enough there. I'm disappointed, actually, to only be parring this par 5. But we're really in between clubs there. We didn't have a lot of choice. We could have really clubbed down, I would imagine, and went for the left-hand side. But let's, oh, look at this. Look at that bridge and cart path or path. It's, this is phenomenal, guys. I am, I'm really actually taken away with this course. Like I say, the quality of the courses that we have covered on the channel these past few months have been second to none. What a course this is. Ooh. Short par 4 here. I think we're going to have to apply a touch of, touch of fade. Down to the 2 wood. Just try and bend this round this cliff here. Ever so slight. Oh, I've put a slow and a fast on it. That ball is now going to be bunker bound. Or maybe not. It's turning more to the right. Where is this going to kick? It's actually kicked off the mountain or the cliff. Whatever you want to call it. And look at that. That is a member's bounce. It really, really is. That is going to leave us a pitch. I'm just going to show you guys that I'm not cheating. There we go. If I don't focus on my swing, it shows you that I can get squiggly lines. That one's just for the doubters out there. So, 69 yards. Slightly downhill slope. I think we just loft this up ever so slightly. Pushed it a wee bit right, as I normally do with pitch shots. But we got the perfect, perfect. This came up a little bit short. I expect that us to get a little bit more um, yardage with a downhill slope at our feet. But seven footer for the birdie. And we do manage to convert that and put the disappointment of the par on the par. Five behind us and we move to six under par. So solid front nine, some great golf played. Hole number 10, par 3, 196 yard stroke index 13, but just wow. The colour of the path just really catches your eye. I really love his bunkers, I really, really do. I, the bunkers are so hard on this game to get to look anything like a well designed bunker, but life on a board has certainly achieved that. Now look at this slope here, guys. I'm going to try... And play a de-lofted 6-iron right into that slope. And hopefully it filters down towards the pin. If we execute this, this could be a thing of beauty. Come on. Be rewarded. 
Surely that's caught the slope. Oh, has it? Oh, it has. Now, this could be a hole in one. Get down. Go on. Keep going. Oh, just the break took us a little bit more um, to the right. But look at that pin height. What, if you haven't already done so, guys, please, please, please hit the like button because that is a phenomenal golf shot. Got a seven foot putt for birdie. It's another great read in putt line. And we do pick up the birdie. So great start to the back nine. We do move to seven under par. I am having a fantastic time out here, guys. One with how I'm swinging and playing. This is the best I've swung. Swing line, tempo-wise, in a long, long time. So it just shows the effort you're working to your swing does pay off. Some of you might think, oh, it's boring. But like I say, this is about my eight or ninth round. I've not been keeping count, but I've spent about at least an hour and a half in the driving range to date honing my swing. But hole number 11, it's another long par five with that wind and four. Oh. Right, so I think driver, I don't think we're actually going to reach this, so we can play... I was just thinking that the downhill element there, but that wind, I don't think we reached this uh, par 5 and 2. If that wind was with us, we would have comfortably um, went driver 2 wood. 292, oh, no chance. Yeah, see if I even had a 4 or 5 mile per hour wind with us, I would be taking that on. Oh, it's so, I can't make it. I can't make it. So we're just going to have to lay up here to the left-hand side. Try to take on as much of this right-hand side as humanly possible. Swinging well, so I've got the confidence to do it. That is a laser beam. That should kick out a good few yards here with the firm uh, fairways. And that should leave us a bit of 70-yard pitch. 37 yards, what am I on about? I really didn't, oh, look at that slope though. That could really be punishing. <sighs> right, so we've lofted up this gap wedge. We're certainly going to catch that slope. I just hope it, it bites for us once it catches the, the slope and checks up. Decent swing. Get in. Oh, that's actually trickled a little bit longer than what I would have liked. It's a very convenient place to um, slope that. But an 8-foot putt. It's going outside left edge here. Oh, my goodness. That was a poor putt. I think I'm just getting a little bit overconfident here because really swinging well this round. Ah, oh, didn't really take my time in that. Didn't respect that break as well as we could have. It's our second par 5 we've parred. I'm, we're still 7 under, though. But hole number 12, par 4 playing 435 yards, stroke index 7. A little bit of a misty feel here. The sun trying to break through the, the clouds. What a fantastic course this guys. This this is, guys. I am just... I'm blown away. I really don't know what to say. I mean, surely these flyovers are speaking for themselves. You don't need any narration from me. This is going to be tough, but I think we've just got about enough loft to get up over this bunker. Slight push right, minimal push right. That should sting along this fairway. I just love the layout of this course. Like I say, everything's been done to expert level. It really has. The writing, the planting, the sculpting. The only criticism I had was that par 5 in between the, the bunker. I, I do feel that could have been flattened out, but what a course. So we're going to have to deal off this 6 iron. 7 mile per hour wind should hold us up, and I'm just trying to fire this right at the pin. This should run out really well down this downhill green. And that's another fantastic shot. Didn't expect it to run... A couple of feet past, but it should set us up with about a six foot putt for birdie. Five feet, nothing in this at all. And we do walk away with another birdie. So I believe that is us now eight under. We could be ten under here, guys, but I do feel that par fives, the way we had to play them due to the wind conditions, did make life a little bit more difficult. Um, the putt was just terrible. 
hole number 13 it's another par 5 so what is there on here 4 5 par 5s playing 558 yards stroke index 3 but wow this course is up there with some of the best courses I've played and I can make that decision now we're only on hole 13 I mean 270 hours I really cannot thank life on a board enough for putting the effort into this so the wind and the kick here this ball should kick right hoping we've got enough fairway to work with on the right hands oh it's a horrible swing probably our worst swing line of the round oh no apart from the flop or the pitch but it is just proven I am human well, I ain't gonna lie I'm really in sweat mode here like I say once you've played about seven or eight rounds and being on the driving range I am coming into this feeling confident with my swing but we've got a downhill slope I think we just about make over this bunker I think we can just carry this bunker which is short left of the green it'll be touch and go Oh, get up. Get up. We need a kick out the rough. We get the kick. I think the green slopes away, though. It does. But we are going to be on the dance floor for Eagle. Fortune does favour the brave, guys. That was a brave shot to take on. But I'm never scared of playing out the bunkers, as you guys know. So 21 feet up 5 inches. This is going to swing fairly hard right. Ah, look at the putt line. I do believe... Ah, oh, I didn't really have the legs. Didn't really have the legs to get there. Putt line wasn't the greatest though. But we do drop in second best prize and we pick up another birdie. So we are sitting at nine under like John says. Hole number 14, par four playing 470 yards stroke index 15. I think, in my opinion, he's just nailed the landscaping, the colouring and everything. I mean, everything just catches your eye. It really does. I've not seen any of this TNT yet, but that could well just be a, a storyline. There's actually none in this because I've never seen anything in the game to represent TNT. But look at the bunkers. Look at the bunkers, man. So just going to allow this wind to take us around. Certainly want to find the left side of this fairway. It looks like it's going to kick right down the slope. Oh, it's a... How's that going so far left? Wow, I thought for a second it was a fast. It wasn't. We've played a perfect fast. A perfect fast shouldn't really affect the the line the ball takes. It'll just add a couple of yards on. A fast perfect will put the ball left and add a few yards also. But the wind just didn't allow enough for it. It's another favourable bounce because it didn't allow for that. So it's going to leave us on our pitch. Wind should take us round here, but not too much. Oh, that wind's really caught a hold of that. Are we even going to hold the green? Yardage-wise, we were perfect. Wind's really caught me out on a few occasions today. It's about, about the third time. Really didn't expect the ball to move that pitch for an 8 mile per hour wind as far left as that. But this is a makeable, slightly uphill putt for birdie. Putt line has, my putt line for the majority of the round has been superb. Everything about my game today has been superb, really, swing-wise. So, so happy to be swinging like this. I, I'll be the first to admit, guys, I do have high standards for my swing. It, that really has dropped probably about the last 10, 12 rounds of when I go back and watch my videos. But hole number 15, par 4, playing 372 yards stroke index 5. To be honest as well, my wife's not on the internet, neither are my two sons, so I could be experiencing a, um, a better connection than most days. But with that 7 mile per hour wind, setting us down the left hand side, should just about have enough yardage to get up onto that elevated fairway. May hit the rough. It's another beautiful swing. We do catch it, but we should kick out just like that. And that is probably going to leave us a lob wedge into this green. But this this course is up there, guys. Make no... I wonder where that... That could be the clubhouse that's up there just above us. The elevation changes, which has been gradual throughout the course with everything else we've been... It's been mentioned is just superb. I'm not sure if this ball is 30 yards above us, but... 
Oh, wow. Now, my calculations were that that was about 105 yards. I've played that ball 100 yards, and it's 16 feet past the pin. This is a tricky putt. Downhill. It's going to break hard right. But these soft greens are such a joy to play. I've pushed that left. <sighs> Lucky to get away with that one once again, guys. Like I say, I've randomly been punished in the past for, for games like that. But we're on a birdie train here. But these soft greens with a medium fast speeds are such a joy to play on. It really, really is. Just a nice change from all these firm fasts. These greens are deceptive. It's another beautiful par 3 plane, 176 yards, up 53 feet, 9 mile per hour wind. I think it's got to be 5 iron here. Let's have a look at the green because I think we're going to land just on that slope. Which should turn the ball to the right. So just aiming left of the flag here. And see if we can get this running out towards the pin. It's another superb execution. I really am over the moon with my swing. This should work its way down. Is it going to turn? It needs to check up now. It's another great golf shot. It's such a great feeling, guys, when you're, you're executing the shots you're calling out with confidence. Tricky putt here. Oh, I, t I thought I missed that. I honestly felt I missed that. I am amazed that dropped. I don't think that should have dropped. I played that really firm. But it is our fourth consecutive birdie. We're having some, some back nine here as we move on to the hardest hole in the course. A really short par four. I take it this is going to be an extreme dog leg right if it's the hardest hole in the course. Doesn't I'm not understanding how that's the hardest hole in the course because it looks can you fight can you get the can you hit the green from the T box? No. It's tempting. I don't think we've got enough loft in our club. I really want to take this on, but no. Let's hit a D lofted seven iron, and it should be nothing more than a than a pitch. Yeah. I'm sure we've played harder holes than this. The par fives were harder than this with the, the current winds that we experienced. It's another solid swing. Keep it within the cone line. I think that'll stop fairly quickly. And that should be a pitch shot into this elevated green. 47 yards up 29. Flop shot's not on due to the elevation, but lob wedge pitch should be. Just going to loft this up a few touches. Slope our feet's going to take us right to the right. Green's breaking to the left. Best pitch I've played in a long... Get in. Best pitch shot I've played in a long time, guys. It really, really is. I normally hit fast perfects or fast slows and push it right, as we have done in a few pitch shots this round. And we are rewarded with the tap and birdie. Quite confused how that's the hardest holding the course, unless some people are trying to um, hit the green from the tee box and being punished. Final hole of this superb course, guys, and it really, really is. I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed playing this course. And if you've not yet played this course, it's got to be on your bucket list. There's the clubhouse. Look at the helicopter as well. Now, this looks like it could... This could be drivable, you know. I don't think in our current wind conditions it is. But look at that. It's like the fairway in the rough would take you all the way to the hole. If I had a 7-8 mile per hour wind, I'd be taking that on. I think we're going to just about have enough fairway to work with here. Oh, it's a fast. It is a fast. That could be in trouble. Certainly going to be in the rough. Oh, what a kick. Do we have enough fairway to work with? Because that is gaining speed. No, I, t I tell you something. I think you could make make that in better conditions. With the wind. 85 yards, down 48 feet. 63 to 70. This club should be bang on with a downhill slope. Oh, it's a fashion push right. 
should kick on though. Is that going to check up? Very fortunate outcome. We really have had a few moments of luck here, guys. That is going to set us up for a birdie. But so, so happy with my overall game in this round. And we do drop that for a birdie. But wow, what a fantastic course, guys. That is up there with the best I've played. Little Cliff Mountain by life on a board for his little boy, Cliff. What a course. What a testimony for his son. But that is it for today's video, guys. That is, without a doubt, a favourite and a five star but like i say if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button until the next time take care peace out and love you all bye